Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video, When Life is Unraveling One Thread at a Time, Psalms chapter 61, verses 1 to 4, NLT. O oh God, listen to my cry, hear my prayer. For the ends of the earth I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety. For you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. Monica and I invite all to journey along with us here at the West Rim Loop Trail, Cloudland Canyon State Park, Rise and Fawn, Georgia. My mother was an amazing seamstress. If you asked her about her sewing talent, she would humbly tell you that she was just someone who likes to sew. She was just average. However, to me and others that saw the dresses she sewed for me, especially my wedding dress, my mother was a talented seamstress. Mother knew exactly how to make the thread unravel with just one snip to the thread in the hem. For me to make that one snip, those were my most frustrating moments. I watched my mother not only snip the thread to unravel the hem in my dresses, but I paid close attention to her navigating our lives when life was unraveling one thread at a time. I learned early in my life what soul-wrenching grief was and that grief had many faces. Ruth 1 verses 1 to 3 in LT. In the days when the judges ruled in Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah left his home and went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. The man's name was Elimelech, and his wife was Naomi. Their two sons were Malon and Kilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. And when they reached Moab, they settled there. Then Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons. I am the youngest of three children, one older sister and one older brother. When our father died, our ages were 17, 13, and me 7. My father's death was the snip of the thread that created the unraveling of our lives. However, I learned as I watched my mother moment by moment, day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year to place all the unraveled threads of our lives into God's loving, caring hands and heart and faithfully trust in His promises because He will take all the unraveled threads and create an amazing wardrobe for our lives. Psalm 119 verse 28 amplified. My soul dissolves because of grief. Renew and strengthen me according to the promises of your word. Psalm 119, verse 50, NIV. My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. Psalm 55, verse 22, NLT. Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. When life is unraveling one thread at a time. 7.35 a.m. Christmas morning, 2003, all of my mother's unraveled threads had been woven into the finest wedding dress for her waiting Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 10, NLT. I am overwhelmed with joy in the Lord my God, for he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. I am like a bridegroom dressed for his wedding, or a bride with her jewels. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here at the Hemlock Falls, Cloudland Canyon State Park, Rise and Fall, Georgia. Lighthouses, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Kinship, comfort, enlightening the eyes of your heart. Photography, traveling, camping. What do all these things have in common? Monica and I excitedly invite all to journey with us, not only through YouTube, but by personal appearance, church, Sunday school class, small group, church social, other activities where the Word of God is shared as we share the challenges, blessings, and adversities through the lens of the camera and God's divine Word. Please contact us by email for Monica and I to share our experiences in person. 
Our email address is lighthousekinshipllc at gmail.com. You can also find it in the description below. Please like and subscribe to our videos and help us to spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms.